and the special assessment was two million nineteen dollars uh, nineteen thousand eight oh five fifty one and the receipts was two hundred and thirty three thousand seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents disbursements was eighty five thousand seven hundred forty eight eighteen and the ending balance is two million one hundred and sixty seven thousand seventy five dollars uh, seventy five Okay. Uh, do we have a motion to accept the treasurer's report? I'll make a motion to accept the treasurer's report. I'll All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, everybody looked at the bills. I make a motion that we accept the bills. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay, I got a few things. Um, uh, yard waste, um, yard sale permits are available at the township hall now. It's that time of the year. And then the next thing I have, um, the closing of Greenwood Road for the 4th of July parade. Um, and the Chamber of Commerce will be taking care of that. The parade will be July 6th from uh, 11 to uh, 3 o'clock, and we got a request permission from the Ogemaw County Road Commission. I make, what do you make a motion on? Yeah, we have to have a roll call for the Road Commission. <coughs> I'll make a motion to close the road. I'll second. July 6th parade. <coughs> roll call. Cotton? Yes. Heimer? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Shields? Yes. Emerson excused. Okay, and then uh, we always give a check to the parade committee, which would be the Skidway Lake Chamber of Commerce, of up to $600, and this is after they turn in their receipts for the supplies they need for the Mills Township 4th of July parade. Okay. I make a motion that we pay the $600. <coughs> After the receipts are After returned. After receipts are returned. I'll Roll call. No, you don't need one. All in favor? Aye. Okay, and the last thing I have. I got a letter here from Donna Anderson, and I'll, I'll read it. To the Mills Township Board, I, Donna Emerson, Mills Township Treasurer, regretfully must resign from my... I'll have to read it. I, Donna Emerson, Mills Township Treasurer, regretfully must resign from my position. My reasons are of a personal nature, and I don't feel that I can respectfully perform my duties as Mills Township Treasurer anymore. I would also like the board to consider appointing my deputy treasurer, Mary Moore, to the treasurer's position for the rest of my term. She has worked with me and is qualified for the position. Thank you for your understanding and consideration in this matter. Sincerely, Donna Emerson. So. I make a motion to accept Donna Emerson's letter of resignation. Is Mills Township treasurer effectively? I second. All in favor? 
to appoint Mary Moore as Mills Township Treasurer for the rest of Emerson's term, which will end November 20, 2020 at noon, effective May 15, 2019. So it's another, another year. Year and a half, yeah. six yeah. days. Yeah. Um, we need a roll call for that. Yeah. And then would Mary, um, she would appoint a deputy? Yeah. Okay. Heimer? Yes. Brian? Yes. Cotton? Yes. Shills? Yes. Miss an excuse. That's all. Okay. Okay. So then, then she would be on the board then? Yes. And we open to the election. So I'll then. swear her in tomorrow. And, okay. and if you don't mind me saying so, I'd like for everybody that don't mind, say a little prayer for Donna. She can use it. All right, supervisor's report. The boardwalk damage has been repaired from the car accident. I went down, looked it over, and it looks like it was a really good job. Everything fits and lines up real nice. Boardwalk ground lights, which were destroyed, have been repaired. Uh, didn't take too long once they could get the unfrozen ground, so they got that. The well at Elbow Lake was sampled twice. The water is good. It's turned on so people can drink it. I've got uh, primary electric was given the go ahead to uh, rewire the township hall so those circuit breakers that are bad will be taken care of as soon as time permits. Uh, for those wishing to discuss roads with the road commission, the meeting at the road commission is building at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I plan to be there. There's been some real concerns about the roads so anyways and plus I talked with finally got in touch with the beach comber, or the beach cleaner. Uh, he called me back, he said that after Memorial Day he can clean the beaches for us, so that would be nice. It's, uh, it said it'd be around $800, so if it's the board's uh, will that we clean the beaches and it picks up the glass and whatever, so I need a motion for that. Do we have that on last year? No. no I, think I did a little bit with a hand sieve, but yeah. I think it's been um, it's a long time. three years. Uh, Bill tried to get a hold of him, but they found out the guy that done it passed away, so oh, that's okay. why. Somebody else took it over. He didn't have any records or whatever. So. Oh, okay. Anyways, but I've got in touch with him, and he seems like a nice guy. He said he can come and get us after Memorial Day. It'll be around $800. So. And that's for we, both beaches. I made a motion for the guy to come to sit the sand in both beaches. Who's the guy? Uh, Lorenz, Mr. Lorenz. Okay, I was just curious, but I He's said from Rose that. City. I've got his okay. number. I was, no, I just was wondering who it yeah. was. I, never, yeah. I mean, I'm going to let some beach guy conclude. I just want to know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Okay. And second? I'll, I second. Okay. okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 That's all I have today. Uh, fire report. Hi everyone. Uh, for the month of uh, April, we had 12 occurrences, uh, four grass fires, four false alarms, uh, two EMS assist, um, one assist a consumer's energy for a down power line, and one illegal burn uh, building material uh, complaint. And that's all I have. I have nothing else to report. Any questions from the board? No. Thank you for doing a great job. Thank you. Anyone else? Any questions? <coughs> How did you find out about the illegal burn? Pardon me? <coughs> you said one illegal right, burn. Right. How did you find out about that? Well, the neighbor called. called in. Neighbor called in can smell the plastic, so we were. I got a guy who lives kitty corner from me. He's burning constantly. And I've been over there several times. I said the windows are gonna get on my roof and you're gonna be in trouble. Well if you if you smell an illegal burn like that, well, I see the flames. Well, just give a call. We'll run out and check it out. Call you? Uh, probably call, call here. Call the town. Call, call, call David. 
Yeah, you can do that, or probably dispatch. if we're going to respond with a truck, we need it to go through dispatch. dispatch. So it's all documented. Dispatch. So our, I mean, there's a lot of people that burn. They never, you know, they don't even call. Yeah, for the liability and everything of our township. So yes, if you suspect that, call dispatch, and they normally call me at home, and then I will get one of my officers to go out and check it out. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Ordinance officer. Yep. Hello again, everyone. Follow up. Uh, basically, I just got some stats for you. I know that last the last couple months I hadn't been here. There wasn't much really to report as far as anything I had started for 2019. But since 2019 has arrived, we're moving along. We've got 25 open cases. Um, three of them have been closed already. And I've got about three more added to this list from last year's uh, statistics. Last year for 2018, we had 185 uh, complaints. Um, I have 42 open cases that I'm still working on. And I got, uh, those are ones that have actually got reports that have actually gone and dealt with more with the attorney and stuff to also. And I got 85 open complaints that are general complaints that I'm just um, monitoring and going out and making sure that progress is moving along with these particular complaints. Uh, and then I had uh, about 32 open cases of grass. When I, we did the grass last year, um, the, the complaints that I saw, the letters that I sent out to the people I, I put on there was for three years. So in other words, when I sent out a grass letter, it was going to be for enforcement for 18, 2018, 2019, and 2020. So this year, if there's any grass overloads on, on any of the, the properties that I already sent letters out, I don't send new letters. I can just tell the gentleman that works for the township to come right out and start cutting grass right away. No more sending out the letters for those particular properties, waiting the 10 days and waiting for them to get back with you and all that. So that's pretty much all I have for so far this year. But if you have any questions, does anybody have any questions about anything for ordinance right now? Is there going to be a special meeting on the 20th of April? Uh, the 20th, next Monday, there'll be a special meeting. It's a public meeting for uh, the new ordinance that we're proposing. That's going to include a bunch That's of public meetings, right? Yep. Here? Here, yes. It's it's five five are you going to propose? What's the ordinance you're going to propose? It's going to be basically the same thing. It's going to be a blight ordinance, but it's going to have some, some variances and some and some things added to it. So but we'll discuss that then next Monday. There's a lot added to it. Other questions? I want to make a comment. I'm nobody. But I think you're doing a good job. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> now you're so nice. <laughs> thank you, Dave. You're <laughs> And we have a commissioner. <coughs> Johnny, thank you. <coughs> good evening. I wanted to let you know about um, bud some budget adjustments that have taken place. The general fund budget began um, at the beginning of the cycle this year at $10,125,844. Um, we had to make some adjustments, and it's now at $10,516,373. We had to transfer from the revolving fund $157,218. This was to help cover the elected official raises which I had informed you about, along with uh, some county employee raises that took place with last year's negotiations. So those adjustments have been made. Um, we have hired an animal control individual. He has started. He is still in training actively. He's got to get 100 hours of training in. He's going to be working 20 hours per week, uh, part-time. He is responding to complaints, so there is a number for you to call. His office is now in the annex building. He is underneath of the county commissioners, or county commissioners are overseeing him, uh, primarily Gary Clacking. Um, so we are, the issue that we're having is a place to take animals. There is no housing facility in Ogemaw County for animals. We do not fund the Humane Society, therefore they do not, do not accept our animals. So there is a lady that is looking into uh, some special grants, maybe to help our county in the future with housing animals. So we are going to relook at this, but as of right now, it's a start to getting an individual working 20 hours. He is a school bus driver. His hours are gonna vary. Right now he's kind of playing with them to see when um, his needs are, are most needed. So I met him, seems very open, seems he's got a, a corrections background, um, a younger gentleman, I'd say 40s. Who is it? Um, oh gosh, <laughs> I couldn't tell you his name offhand. I'm just here. I'll tell you his face, but not his name. He was in correction? Um, he was. He was in her, do you know his name on here? Scott was his first name. Yes. 
It's in the paper. It is. Um, it and is. is. He it works for Uwa. He works for the West Branch Bus Garage um, currently. So he's got a military background, I believe, as well. So we only had two applicants, and he was chosen. Yeah, I wouldn't want that job. So the other thing is we are going ahead with securing the county building. There is a security committee that has been formed. I am on that committee. Uh, the Supreme Court Justice has um, made it, has passed down mandating uh, county buildings to become, uh, for security to be implemented. So we have already taken it down to one entrance. There was uh, four, four doors, but only two entrances for the public. We've taken it down to one main entrance, which is uh, towards Main Avenue there. Uh, and then we're also working on, by Monday, the metal detector is supposed to be being brought downstairs as well. It is going to be uh, guarded by uh, the bailiffs. It's not going to be a huge cost. We already have a lot of the, the uh, equipment in uh, present, but it's not has not been utilized. So we have the wands, we have uh, emergency buttons, we have the metal detectors. Bailiffs were already being employed by the county um, so many hours while courts were in session. Uh, so we looked at it, and it looks like 100 extra hours per year. So cost-wise, it's going to be about an extra. We're, we're guessing roughly fifteen to sixteen thousand dollars for the county. But again, this is this is becoming mandatory. Unfortunately, it's it's where society has went. Um, it is our job to keep the county employees uh, safe. Um, I have had a few people ask me if they felt like this was a necessity for Ogemaw County. I have went and toured that uh, corrections facility. There are a lot of inmates in that corrections facility that are not Ogemaw County residents. We accept. I'm not sure if you're all aware of this. We accept inmates from Genesee, from surrounding counties. Um, and we are in need and looking for other inmates. So again, this is not just Oklahoma County. Um, we are getting people from everywhere. And um, a lot of emotions take place in the courthouse. Children are involved, families, individuals. So uh, again, it is our job to keep them, people safe. So we are going forward with that. So questions. We have a uh, committee of the whole meeting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. If anybody would like to attend, some things are being discussed. Do you have a number for the dog catcher? Um, I do. I will have it to you before the end of the meeting. Okay. Last name's Free Sorger, by the way. What is it? Free Sorger, Scott Free Sorger. Okay. There's been a few. He does not carry a weapon. Um, he is not employed through the Sheriff's Department. Uh, there's been a few questions as far as that goes. So, um, what is it? 34? 345-5903. So hopefully it all works out well. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me who's in, uh, on the committee or who's in charge of the commission on aging now? Um, I cannot, but I can get you that information. Yes, I'd like to know. Absolutely. Because when I know her face. Oh, it's a woman. I believe so. Yes. She's not Carol Gilman. I don't. There's a, uh, a member of the board that's supposed to be. You know, kind She's of talking Bruce, about the commissioner. Oh, Bruce Reitz is on that. Is on that from the committee? No. Okay. Sometimes things get left, should be cleaned, and they don't get cleaned because they're trying to save money all the time. And I've heard they got plenty of money, but they don't like to spend it. Oh. I Bruce, serve on Michigan Works. We also have to serve on so many uh, boards. Um, okay. I serve on Michigan Works. I serve on the EDC, um, and I serve on NEMSCA, and now the Security Committee. But Bruce Reitz is on the um, okay. Council on Aging. Any more questions? Well, thank you very much. We have no unfinished business. Uh, Gypsy Moth spraying contract. Uh, I don't have a contract. I don't have a You got a ring, don't you? Yeah, right here. Yeah, you have a contract. Um, anyways, uh, I got the map here. Did anybody want to look at this? That's, is it the same as last year? Uh, I did a little bit of different areas, but I do have some spots that are real heavy and I can't get rid of them. So. Oh, okay. Which was the worst one? The uh, worst one is actually starts at like Elbow Lake Beach and goes all the way to Lucinda. That whole yeah. uh, stretch down through there. I heard that was pretty bad. That's pretty bad there. And, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other places I got. I got some out on right from our trail. Like I said, it almost kind of like it's a line coming through. The problem, the problem is, is we have across the 33 is state land and they don't spray for them so 
when they had, so you just kind of keep going to them. Keep going, they get mad. I think I saw they travel up like a mile a day, so. Oh, wow. So like I said, they just kind of keep going themselves right here. Yeah. Yeah, we need to kill them. Yeah. That's fun to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we have the Mills Township application here for the Gypsy Moss Suppression Program. It's uh, in consideration. It says that in consideration for the services rendered by the contractor, the township agrees to pay $29.40 per acre sprayed for a total of up to $36,750, uh, $29.40 per acre times 1,250 acres for an equals to $36,750 total dated this 14th day of May, 2019, uh, dated 22nd day of April, 2019. That was Hatfields. Yeah. So is it like the same amount as like last year? You no, know, this, this year we're paying a little bit more because we used to uh, go with the Churchill oh, Township, but they quit. Put spray in, so it's going to cost us a little bit more for them to come so up. We're the only township that's sprays for it. No, we're not. We're kind of, you know, in Oakma County, I think we are. Yeah, well, when that's my name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, last year when, when I was walking down through them myself, it was pretty bad. They were falling out of the yeah. trees. So you wonder how many other townships got it. They're all going to come to the away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boss. Yeah, we'll make them feel very uncomfortable <laughs> for a while. So I need a motion to adopt this um, <coughs> Gypsy Moss Suppression Program. I'll make a motion. I'll second. I, mean, I don't want those things around mm -hmm. me. They need you right up. I don't want them. Ryan? Yes. Cotton? Yes. Ina? Yes. Shields? Yes. Emerson? Excuse. Motion carried. Okay. I need mean, you to sign that thing. Right. I don't think I'm going to do it now. Yeah. Well, why do you wait a week? All right, it's the end of the new business. Uh, anybody got anything they'd like to say? Yes, ma'am. Um, there's been several complaints about dogs on the boardwalk and not cleaning up after them. Uh, would it be possible to check into getting some of those park things that has the bags so that they will have something to clean up with if their dog goes. Mud mitts. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be the I mean, they had them all over. Maybe they'll, they, yeah, maybe they'll clean them up. I don't think it'd be that costly. They'll either clean them up or they'll vandalize them. I can probably find some place. <laughs> I don't know how much it would be. There's probably about 500 or something. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Thank you for bringing that up. I don't want to put it off limits to people with dogs because right. so many people love to walk their dogs on there. No. Anybody else? But if they can't respect it. Oh, I know. Yeah. There's, uh, I would say 99% of them are. Or, okay, how many times have you seen it? Okay. I I have not seen it myself. It's the people that has been on the boardwalk and then they let me know. But no. if you buy it and put it up there, are they going to use it? Yeah, yeah if it's not too expensive, I don't think it's really expensive. I think most expensive. people that have dogs take care of them themselves. Sure. Bring their own bag. Or we could put, I know, we could put one of those little those, those dogs. <laughs> Oh my At gosh. Home. <laughs> At home you put garbage bags in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walmart bag works just as good, trust me. And if you got well, an animal, most people take them I'll away. I'll just call Ken. Analyze it, Ken. Yeah, well, I, there's so many people that are really doing that. Thank you. Board, board, board. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, people's asking if the spade and neuter is going to come back. Yes. We've already got that date set. Yeah, I think you announced that at the last time. I, I wasn't here last time. You were MIA. Um, I got it on my paperwork. Okay. It's the 56th, isn't it? I don't remember. I'll get it to you afterwards. Okay. Uh, anybody else? <coughs> you stand here. Okay. I thought you were coming to the 